Mm. Apologies for the uh, clutter. Hey guys, this is Adam, and in this video, I wanted to show you my color grade, which makes my films look like this. And I'm also going to show you the thought process behind it, the settings I use, and drum roll, please. For the first time, I've created and I'm giving away to you guys a free downloadable LUT. If you, if you don't know what a LUT or a lookup table is, there's plenty of resources on, online, go to Google. Uh, but it basically means that you'll be able to have my color grade to use in your own films. So you guys can have that and use it as you please. A little gift from me. So watch till the end of the video for details on that. So I get asked all the time about my color grade settings and how I achieve the look that I have in my films. And as you can see on the screen now, there isn't a huge difference between the raw footage and the graded results. I don't shoot raw footage in S-logs or a particularly flat profile, and I don't grade heavily. It's, it's just a subtle little boost, a little enhancement that brings out the earthy tones, the greens, the browns, and it sort of enhances the blacks and shadows. But for me, it works great on greens and outdoorsy kind of earthy footage, and, and in natural light, it's brilliant too. But I also needed it to be subtle enough to work indoors when you might have a bit, a bit of a yellowish tone or you're forced to use artificial lights, or you're in a teepee and the white balance is hell. This grade still works for that, and it means that I can have one look that I can apply over everything. And because of that, my color grading process takes a matter of minutes. It's literally a copy and paste, drag and drop over everything. And it's really simple, and it's exactly how I need it to be for a speedy sort of workflow. Now, of course, it all starts with the pitch profile that I use. I shoot on Sony Alphas, and I've adapted pitch profile one in those cameras to suit my needs. I've tweaked the settings a little bit so that it suits the kind of look I want to go for. And then in post-production, I use Film Convert attached to Final Cut Pro. It's a plugin that you can use for any editing software, but in this case, FCPX. There is a video on this channel already that takes you through step-by-step step the pitch profile settings that I use in camera, the film convert settings in Final Cut. So rather than repeating myself, go and check out that video for a full breakdown. I, I'll link it down below. And you can follow that and you can play around with film convert to improve your color work and kind of get the settings that you want to go for. But if you don't want to bother with that, you can now have my grade as a downloadable LUT. I'm a bit excited about this. So for access to my LUT that you can import into your project, be it Final Cut, be it Premiere, whatever you use, I am giving this away for free. All I ask is that if you're not already, please subscribe to the channel, please like and share this video with friends and follow me on Instagram. And that way you can stay up to date with all my latest wedding videography related content and all the links are below for doing all that. If you've already done all that, a massive thank you and you can access your new lot at adamwingfilms.com forward slash academy forward slash wing luts. The link is on screen now and I'll float it around up here somewhere. So there you have it, my first wing lot. Um, maybe the first of many, who knows. I hope it treats you as well as it's treated me, but please be aware that I am shooting this on Sony Alphas, I am using the pitch profile settings in conjunction with this, so if your results are differing in any way, that's probably why. But if you do have any questions, comment below and I'll help as best I can. Thank you so much for watching, I will see you in the next one. And I haven't drawn attention to this, but you may have noticed a slightly different setting backdrop. I've got a new office, it's a bit of a mess at the minute so I didn't want to draw attention to it just yet but once it's finished and ready and I've got a slick office workplace set up I'm probably going to do a bit of a video tour. A bit of a behind the scenes look at how I set up my desk and how I work at home and a bit of inspiration for you guys. I might, I'm probably going to do a video about that if, you, if you'd like to see it. Let me know.